Okay, my uh, anaerobic methane digester is just about finished. There's a big hole down there. Okay. Um, get the screws on. To seal. Now I used a um, 100 mil pipe. That's just a floor flange. Um, I've glued that to it and drilled four holes that go right through the steel. Um, there's my gas outlet. Shut off and off. Um, there's my outlet out the side. Now I haven't decided but I think I'm going to put on this bigger one at the bottom for um, some solids removal. And so far that's what she looks like inside. Um, the complete design if you can see it on the camera I may take a photo of that actually. Uh, I think you can see that. So we've got digester here, a bit of sludge out and removal, uh, like the uh, real watery stuff for um, fertilizer and the heavier stuff at the bottom. Uh, the cap I was going to put a reducer but I couldn't find a straight one and I thought stuff it, I'll just use the other one. If it doesn't work I'll cut it and put a reducer in. Um, outlet, now this is going to be a um, soft oxide scrubber. And it's just going to be another length of 100 mil pipe filled with um, steel, um, steel wool or swarf from a, a manufacturing plant, which is just the the um, metal turns that come off when they're lathing something. Now that will come come across and into here. I was going to use a foot valve, but I've realised that they're going to go the wrong way. A foot valve will stop um, f fluids from going that way. Whereas I want to stop, well, I want to stop fluids from going that way, so I've got to get a one-way valve for there of some description. A fluid one will work, but it will suck a tiny bit of water in up the pipe and then close off, and then as the gas comes in, it'll push the water out anyway. Um, so this is simply another 44-gallon drum filled with water, sealed. There'll be a um, water level check. On the side, just when I know it, when I know it's empty, I can check that the the amount of water in the system is fine. I may put a, a viewing thing on the side, but I don't want to spend too much. And you'd have to use glass because the clear plastic tubing that you get tends to go quite foggy in the sun, and also becomes brittle. So of course, there's gas out. So as this gas comes up through the sulfur dioxide scrubber into here it'll bubble up through the water and that should remove some of the carbon dioxide and as that fills up that chamber it will push the water out and up into this other 44 gallon drum which is sitting at the bottom of this will be the same as the top of that one um, oh, losing paper right will be the same as that one um, now if this if I don't feel that this is removing enough carbon dioxide, I'll add another chamber similar to this um, that instead of going in the top and out the bottom, one will go one will go in the top, run to the bottom um, and have a, a diffuser at the bottom so you get lots of fine little bubbles that will bubble up through and then come back out the top and they'll fill that with lime water or mixture of lime and caustic soda which when re will react with the um, carbonic acid that's created from the carbon dioxide um, dissolving in the water and turn it into a solid. So you're left with pure methane, or pretty much pure methane at the end. It will contain some hydrogen as I'll be using mostly vegetable matter. So there you go. That will be my complete system, fingers crossed. First I'll start with, with uh, that guy, and once that's up and running and I see how much gas I get out, um, I'll see how I go from there. I probably will go, um, 
I'll hook that onto another barrel to use as storage. And off of this here, I'm going to put another T with a bike valve on it, so I can, um, or a Schroeder valve or whatever they're called, so I can check the, you know, the pressure because I don't want the pressure to get up too high. Um, or I'll build a, um, a pressure release valve, which will probably just be a, um, a, uh, a, a probably one of these type or a, a flange of some description inside a pipe with a weight sitting on top of it with a rubber piece of rubber on it. So the weight pushing down will seal on the end of the pipe and um, that will cause the, you know when the pressure gets over 20 kilos or whatever you you know however much you've got sitting on top of it it will start to leak out of the pressure release valve okay I think that's about it so we'll see how we go the other thing is I don't actually have a proper seal for these which is a bit of a pain in the bum but I'm just gonna use silicon hopefully once this, I silicon it up and it sets when I actually remove the um, the lid again it should stay hopefully in one of the sides I'll oil the bottom so hopefully it'll just stay stuck to the top that way I can use it again okay